Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Holliburn. It's a pleasure to serve under your chairmanship. I will start by thanking Suffolk County Council and East Suffolk Council for stepping up to the plate to meet the challenges posed by COVID-19. What I shall now move on to is to highlight the challenges that county councils face, taking into account my role chairing the APPG for counties. Councils have been on the front line in supporting communities during the pandemic. This has cost money, and the government has met their COVID-related costs through four tranches of emergency funding. However, there is uncertainty on the potential costs of the current lockdown, which will not show on the latest local government returns to MHCLG. What COVID-19 has done is to starkly expose the fault, li fault lines in the funding of county councils and to exacerbate their underlying financial fa challenges that they face in such areas as adult and child social care, special educational needs, highways maintenance and school and bus transport. The county council network's budget survey from two weeks ago revealed that just one in five of their 35 council members were confident of delivering a balanced budget next year without dramatic reductions to services. In the following year, Mr Holliburn, only one of these councils is confident of doing so. In the immediate future, county councils are faced with an overbearing and seemingly soluble dilemma, of the one hand, they will be expected to, and they will, play their role in the COVID recovery. On the other hand, they will find that they have even less money to perform the, this vital task. Two-thirds of the funding that county councils receive comes from council tax, and they will thus be exposed to, dif to the difficulties in collection which I fear are going to be inevitable. Mr Holliburn, the future is both bleak and intimidating for county councils. In the very short term, additional funds are urgently required, both tomorrow and in the local government funding settlement, which is due next month. Grants should be provided for three years, not one year, so that councils can plan strategically. And more money is needed for special educational needs. In the longer term, we must fix social care and the government must carry out the fair funding review. 